Muscles are soft tissues in your body that help you move, stand tall, breathe, talk, and even pump blood. They work like tiny motors, pulling bones or squeezing things inside your body when needed. Types of muscles. There are three main types of muscles. Skeletal muscles, cardiac muscles, and smooth muscles. Skeletal muscles are the ones you can control. They're attached to your bones and help you do things like jump, run, wave, or smile. If you decide to lift your arm, your brain sends a signal to these muscles to move. They look striped under a microscope and called striated and have many tiny control centers, nuclei, to help them work hard and fast. Cardiac muscles are the muscles in your heart. You can't control them. They work all the time on their own to keep your heart beating and pumping blood. They also have stripes like skeletal muscles, but only one control center per cell. They connect very well so your heart can beat in a steady rhythm. Smooth muscles are also not under your control. They are found in places like your stomach, intestines, blood vessels, and bladder. They help move food, push pee out, or change the size of your blood vessels. These don't look striped and also have just one control center in each cell. Tiny parts inside skeletal muscles. Let's zoom in. Each muscle is made of fibers. These fibers are like long ropes wrapped in a skin called the sarcolemma. Inside them is jelly-like stuff, sarcoplasm, filled with even smaller ropes called myofibrils. Each myofibril is divided into tiny sections called sarcomeres. Sarcomeres are the parts that actually help the muscle squeeze and pull. They have two kinds of threads, thick threads called myosin and thin threads called actin. The myosin heads grab the actin and pull it, making the muscle shorter and tighter. This is how a muscle contracts or works. Two helper proteins called troponin and tropomyosin help decide when the actin is ready to be pulled. How muscles move. Muscles work when they get a signal from your brain. A nerve sends a message to a muscle through a place called the neuromuscular junction. A chemical messenger named acetylcholine, ACH, is released. This chemical makes the muscle start an action potential, an electric wave inside the muscle. This wave tells a storage area, the sarcoplasmic reticulum, to let out calcium. Calcium turns on the actin by moving the blockers, tropomyosin, and myosin grabs actin and pulls. If there's enough ATP, the muscle's energy, this happens again and again until you stop the movement. When you're done moving, ACH is cleaned up by acetylcholinesterase, calcium goes back into storage, the actin is blocked again, and your muscle relaxes. How muscles get energy? Muscles need energy to work. They use a special fuel called ATP. Your body gets ATP in different ways. Creatine phosphate gives super quick energy for short efforts. Anaerobic glycolysis breaks down sugar without oxygen. Good for short bursts, but can make you tired. Aerobic respiration uses oxygen to make lots of ATP for long-term activities like walking or cycling. Types of muscle fibers. Muscles come in different styles, each good for different activities. Type 1, slow twitch fibers are slow and steady great for endurance like marathon running. Type 2, A, fast twitch, endurance. Fibers are a bit faster and still last long. Type 2, B, fast twitch power fibers are super fast and strong, perfect for sprinting, but they tire quickly. Muscles in the body. Muscles are made of smaller bundles. Muscle fibers are grouped into fascicles. Fascicles are covered by layers called endomysium around each fiber paramysium around each group of fibers, and epimysium around the whole muscle. All these wrap together and become tendons, which attach to bones and help pull them during movement. How muscles work together. Muscles work as a team. The origin is the part of the muscle that stays still. The insertion is the part that moves. The agonist is the main muscle doing the job. The antagonist does the opposite action. The synergist helps the main muscle. The fixator keeps everything stable. Muscle names. Muscles get their names from different things. It could be where they are, like the biceps brachii in the arm. It could be their shape, like deltoid, which is triangle-shaped. It might be their size, like gluteus maximus, the big butt muscle. 
It can also be based on how the fibers run, like rectus abdominis or straight fibers. Some are named by how many parts they have, like biceps have two heads. Others are named by what they do, like flexor carpi, which helps you bend your wrist. Important muscle groups. Muscles in your head and neck include ones like the masseter, which helps you chew, and the sternocleidomastoid, which turns your head. In the arms, the deltoid lifts your arm, biceps bend it, and triceps straighten it. In the torso, muscles like the chest, pectoralis, abs, rectus abdominis, and back, latissimus dorsi, help you twist, sit up, or reach. In the legs, the gluteus maximus helps you stand and climb. Quadriceps and hamstrings help you walk or jump. Calf muscles like gastrocnemius help you tiptoe. Muscle problems. Sometimes muscles can have problems. Muscular dystrophy is when muscles get weaker over time because of genes. Myasthenia gravis is when the immune system causes muscles to become weak. Fibromyalgia makes muscles hurt for a long time. Strains and sprains happen when muscles or ligaments get stretched or torn. Cramps are sudden, painful muscle squeezes, often caused by not drinking enough water. Muscle growth and healing. Muscles grow and heal in interesting ways. Hypertrophy is when muscles get bigger because you use them a lot, like when you exercise. Atrophy is when muscles shrink because you don't use them. Satellite cells are special helper cells that fix and grow muscles when they're hurt. Overall, your muscles are amazing. They let you run, jump, smile, and even breathe without thinking. Taking care of your muscles with exercise, good food, and rest helps them stay strong and healthy.